Hey yo, thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news. Now today we have, hey yo man, we got look, 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 we got some bad news for Diddy. Uh, you you like what else is new? I know, I know. Uh, we got ba uh, bad news for Diddy, man. Um, folks acting uh, foolish with uh, Kyrie Irving of all people, man. We also got um uh, forty two Doug on um uh, uh who he blames for the dem like for the for the decline of rap. We also got um uh, an artist being um shot and killed, man. Um Chris Chris Brown and who he's afraid of, man. We also got a uh, Kodak Black information and YNW Melly's court date again. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source Show. If this is your first time to the channel, man, you know what it is, man. Be sure to hit that like button and feel any part of the content. We appreciate that, man. That notification bell's waiting for your tax. Go and give it a tap. And that subscribe button's waiting for your subscription, man. So go and touch that too. Yo, check this out, man. Um, look, I don't blame you, right? If you if you saw, if you saw, but we've been seeing um if you didn't I don't blame you if you didn't see, right? But we've been seeing Diddy enjoying himself like crazy taking flights white water rafting and the whole nine yards all right? a lot of people that were affected by the diddler and his shenanigans feel some type of way about him posting himself enjoying himself just walking riding the bike with a smile on his face in the whole nine yards like they want to see him looking like bruh that did that um all white party they, they want to see him with that kind of look on his face you follow me like they want they want to see the man in tears hugging his pillow but but think about it man if you were facing a thousand years in prison after doing all the shenanigans that bro has been accused of doing wouldn't you try to enjoy your final moments technically the longer they take right to to you know what i mean like to, to really drop the hammer and do the longer they take that means the more thorough the details on the investigation is and and you know as long as he knows or suspects the federal investigation is going on he definitely gonna be behaving himself the whole time through okay but when that hammer drops man it's gonna be like the man was sitting in a for a, a, a freezer of nitrogen man when that hammer drops that diddler is gonna shatter something serious man you know what i'm saying oh, oh take a look at this foolishness that um somebody had the opportunity of um asking Kyrie uh, Kyrie Irving a, a question now this is one of my favorite 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 ball players out the gate you know what i mean like i watch i, I watch highlights of this man on a regular okay Take a look at the foolishness that someone decided since they had the opportunity to ask the man a question, what they were going to ask him. Take a look at this joint real quick. You got a hall pass with any celebrity, who would it be? A hall pass? What you mean? That means you can just mess with any celebrity you want to. Oh, no, I love my wife, Marlene Wilkinson. Yo, shout out my wife, my kids. Shout out his wife. See, that's why some of y'all don't need microphones. I mean, this man is a ball player. This man is a ball player, and you get an opportunity. You get an opportunity to ask him a question, right? Because a lot of people would love to speak, sit down and speak with Kyrie Irving, right? You know what I mean? Ask him like, how did he get so good? What were some of his practices? What are some of the practices that he think uh, should be most effective for a lot of people that want to um, go into the into the field of, of um, being an NBA player in the whole nine years? All the questions you can ask this man, you asking him what he does with his with his dangling, bro, with his diddle? I mean, come on, man! Like that's that's what you you asking him. The, you, the, the man is married. You're asking him to say <laughs> on camera who he wants to see. <laughs> I mean, some people like the world does not revolve around what you do with your penis. I know that society has made it seem like that's the most important thing ever. What happens with your penis and what happens with your vagina. What, th th that is not the most important thing. That is not like top priority. That's ridiculous. And then to even ask another, hey, look, what you going, what would you do with your penis if you were given? Uh, that to me is a strange question. Okay. Shame on that man for asking Kyrie Irving that question. You know what I'm saying? Um... All the things the man has done in the community, man. I mean, come on. Like, that's what you asking? See, that's, that's why we cooked. As a culture, we are cooked. Look, 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 let me give you this next one, okay? Uh, 42 Doug is out here blaming producers for the decline of hip-hop, okay? Or, ra or, 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 or rather, we should say the decline of rap. Take a listen to what he had to say on the Kid L podcast. Take a listen real quick. Same thing he's always been. Get in the studio, rap. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Listen to me. But... I feel like it's been a decline in beats. Like, like the beats ain't really been. That's how I feel. The beats ain't really been like, how are we getting that bitch? We be like, it really? takes so long to need to find a good beat. It used to, we going that bitch like, but it's a whole new wave now. So it's like, you be trying to catch the new wave and you don't want to sound the same. Like, you don't want to keep giving these people the same thing. It's like, they don't know if they want the same thing or they don't. Beats, perhaps. You know what I mean? 
See, I'm the kind of dude, you know, one of my favorite beats, man, is a song called Reality from Black Moon. That's one of my favorite beats, okay? Uh, love Sosa, I love that beat. But, you know, I'm that kind of dude. And believe it or not, that middle part of Family Matters, that's one of my favorite beats. You know what I'm saying? I like, And I like all kinds of drill beats. But, but, but here's the thing, though. Here's the thing. Um, I think the real decline of, of rap comes from the content. The content being mindless and shallow. It lacks depth. So it, it doesn't give us much. When the song is deep, right? When it, when it, And then it has a hot beat. It, look, the song could have been released on May 4th and we'd still be deciphering bits of it today, okay? Like that's a, a deep song, all right? A lot of the music today has content with the depth of hardened concrete. Like, like when it should have the richness and depth of soil. You follow me? Like, like what, where if you mine through the lyrics, you'll find all types of gems. But the industry overwhelms us with shovelware type of music with no quality or anything like that. It's just beats and a song. The lyrics don't even the lyrics don't even be on beat most of the time. As we can see with a lot of the artists that we've been experiencing, what I hear on the radio all the time. Bunch of artists, they ain't even on beat. You can name 21 artists right now. 20, 21 of them rap about the same three topics. 11 of them can't ride a damn beat, and three of them might have some depth to their lyrics, right? <laughs> Look, one of them challenged the other who wisely laid the mic down slow and careful, and the other one, I'm still waiting for you to mention in the comments below. Most of these artists don't have no depth. You know what I'm saying? It's like, we are so, re people <laughs> people in that, that love hip hop, they have been relieved to have three songs, three or four songs where they gotta sit around and decipher and break down. All we got was three in the last damn 15 years. You know what I mean? Uh, the only person that I could, that, that when I hear him on the radio, th then I'm like, okay, this joint is kind of ill. Like I like the double entendres and all that kind of, Lil Wayne. That's the only other person that I could imagine, right? That has like the kind of lyrics that make you have to think and you'd be like, oh shoot, oh, I didn't even pick that up. That's the only other person. But outside of that, like last 15 years, I can't find them. Can you find them? Who? <laughs> Name them. Name them in the comments below. Uh, I look, 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 look. where we at over here? Let me. Uh, I look, look, look. local rapper, um, uh, local Chicago rapper Lil Schoom was shot and killed yesterday. Okay, he predicted his death hours before it happened, and he died a month after his close associate was gunned down by a little by um, uh, I think he dissed like a little little Dirk's artist or something like that. It, they, they were shot too, something crazy like that. Local rapper Lil Schoom was shot and killed yesterday. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Okay. Uh, he rapped about guns, threw up gang signs in his video. Chris Brown dropped that. Um, you're like, oh, that's foul what you just did. No, what, what's foul? What's foul? That, 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 the clip said, look, I just told you what the man did and what he stood behind and what happened to him. I wish he was. Let me just make this clear. Crystal clear. OK, I wish he was not murdered. OK, and I wish he had the opportunity to turn from his ways. I hope he, he turned maybe last minute, last second, whatever. OK, but. If he chose not to, I don't know what to, I don't know what to say. Here's what I can say. The state that you die in is the state that you would have remained in if you were given another thousand years to live. You understand what I just said? The Supreme Judge will not end your life and place you in eternity if he knows tomorrow you'll turn from hell. But if, if you are meant to turn, like if you are meant to turn from your hellish ways, you will have turned before you die. If you die without turning, you would have never turned. You know why? Because God is good and he is wise and he only does what is best for you and the maximum number of people simultaneously, okay? I pray that that man settled his affairs with the Supreme Judge before he took his last breath, okay? Prayers up for those that knew him and know I am not trolling because that wouldn't be wise. You follow me? Uh, Chris Brown dropped this on The Weakest Link. It demonstrated Chris Brown being one of the hottest rappers probably in the last 15 years that we've heard. You know what I'm saying? The man incinerated Quavo at Amigos. It was, it was, it was brutal. It was super brutal. Everybody was like, ooh. It was like, it was like um, when, when World War II was going on and then uh, America dropped a nuke type energy. You know what I'm saying? And everybody was like, okay, you know what? Let's, let's just, let's just stop right here. Okay. <laughs> um, look, a lot of the artists was like, uh, uh, thank goodness. I don't have to do a rap battle with that singing ad ninja right there. You know what I'm saying? Well, we may have found the only person that Chris Brown official 
gets nervous about that is actually he, he's scared of okay um uh and it's this ninja right here take a listen his fucking dancer the one that beyonce fired she finally have a chance but she was been mad since february and um chinese new year was wearing red and um nothing you but came on i got i guess i got the club crunk but i'm just i'm just being myself God damn, I'm not competing with you. I'm not trying to be a better dancer than you. Miss Professional Dancer who dances for Chris Brown and Beyonce. I'm not child. I haven't been in professional school. I'm not, I'm not a backup dancer for a celebrity. I'm just fucking, oh, this song is good. Let me get up and dance. And she want to get up and dance. To put a, she put a microphone to her ass. You can hear it clap. I'm like, bitch, you've been waiting for this moment? Like, it's, she's a loser. They're, lo I, they're fucking on my nerve. I'm just like, I'm tired of this shit. I just not. I, I'm so happy, boy, I, I see why people get guns and run up in the motherfucking dog. I kept looking at everybody, I was remembering everybody's face. Man, wait till I get my money right. I don't care what I gotta do. If I gotta join a gang, if I gotta do some mob shit, I don't care. Cause these niggas, I can say it cause you go with the wrong crew, you don't go to jail. Shit man, I gotta work for the government, where can I legally kill? Cause I'm coming for you motherfuckers, as soon as I can. Maybe 20 years from now, laugh, laugh, hee hee, ha ha. When I can finally fucking legally kill, or I can kill, and my word is over your word, and they gonna believe me over you. I'm tired of this shit. What's up? Even like Bucko, Chris, I guess Chris, security, whatever. And I saw a oh, hoodie looking at me, whatever. I'm like, whatever. Like, what's up? I don't give a fuck. What? Somebody bust a fucking move. You know what I mean? Bust a move. Bust a move. Y'all for all this fucking psychological warfare, nigga. Bust a move. Show me how you really feel. I don't know why the fuck I was there. I was just there to show support. I don't know what the fuck that was. So when you, I was like, what the fuck is this? Buy shoes. Fuck shoes. I want to go more pop-ups. That's fine. Concerts only. Concerts only. I don't want to see Dean. I don't want to see none of the motherfuckers. Fuck y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Uh, Chris Brown posted after that clip. This is what Chris Brown posted. He posted, I'm not trying to be mean at all, but this ish is scary. I'm telling you, he said, uh, This ish is scary. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Now, so he shared that video uh, on Instagram of his stalker threatening his dancers and his crew. Um, yeah, crazy. When Chris Brown is like, yo, this is kind of making me a little bit nervous. He took a picture with her. She was right there, bro. She, and, and, and um, you know, it, I think, here's, you know, I, I guess what gets me is if a person knows what you like, they can get close to you, right? If a person knows what you like, they can really get close to you, okay? So if you like money, if you like women, they can get close to you. Because all they got to do is bait you with what? Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, where we at over here? Let me, let me, um, let me, what time, what's my time to like? All right, let me go to my shout outs real quick. Okay. Um, shout out to, all right, Just Shawnee. Just Shawnee said, Just Shawnee said, um, in that Not Like Us video, Just Shawnee said, those are not storage bins. They're shipping containers. My bad, you know I'm slow. She said, shipping ports and docks are well-known places where human traffickers keep their hostages in shipping containers. Every week they find human beings being held hostage at shipping ports on the docks and containers. They just pay a lot of money to keep it off the news. Damn, I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. Uh, um, I hate that. Um, where, where we at? What else we got over here? All right, Alex. Alex Gameplay said, your celeb. He said, um, I love your channel. I've listened to you every day since COVID. Um, however, sometimes I feel like you and, and, and many comedians are out here working hard to keep racism alive. I mean, our community needs to focus more on improving internally and achievable goals rather than the subliminal messages of what someone else's community or culture may mean. I never felt like I brought down property values until I heard you say that on your channel. Small messages like that in our minds create the culture we don't want and others accept us as we think of ourselves. Um, then he said, um, I guess we should be promoting things that, that, that highlight the fact that we're engineers, well, well-spoken inventors, intelligent, wealthy computer scientists, mathematicians, homeowners, landlords, world-class entertainers, and business owners. Okay. Uh, 
Now, here's here's the thing, man. I, I do apologize that you feel that way, right? Because it ain't my intention to make you feel lower or less or have less value than than you you really should have. Okay. So um, I don't. That's not my intention. We or I. I don't know about other comedians, but I don't want to keep racism alive. I don't. Okay. We want to put a spotlight on it in its many forms. Okay. That includes overt racism and subtle racism. All right. When we say the property value statement, that's a reality that I wish did not exist. It's a reality that I wish didn't take place. And like not speaking on it doesn't make it disappear. You follow me? It, 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 if you don't speak on it, you allow it to thrive. So those that are like, we want people to be aware of it. Um, whether inside themselves or whether they see it somewhere else and call it out. You know what I'm saying? That's how I think we can make the difference. If you don't call out evil, then it continues to perpetuate. Think about all the stuff when we hear about the diddler or we hear we hear about the diddler and all the things that he, he was doing, right? Uh, or he's being alleged of doing. Or when we think about Drake and, and the um, culture vulture aspect of what he's been doing, right? How he's been making fun of um, uh, uh, black American culture with the black face and the Jim Crow shirts and all that stuff, okay? If someone didn't point a, point attention to it and call it out, it would still continue to go on. And people would be still singing these songs that this man promotes, even though he's cracking jokes on them the whole time. You follow me? Some of that stuff ain't even that man said you rap. That man said you rapping like you trying to get the slaves free. That's what Drake said to Kendrick. You know what I mean? He doubled down on it. So he, he knows how we look. He got his mother. Let me just, I don't mean to switch it into this. The man got his moms to come into the studio, wherever it is, whether it's at his house or wherever, to start the song off by saying, maybe in this song, you shouldn't start by saying nigga. His mother, he got his white mom to come in here and say that. She didn't say the, the, the N word, but he said it. But she got her to say the first part of it. You follow me? You got to call these things out so you could deal with them appropriately. You follow me? Um, uh, Anyway, let's get right back to it. this bad boy up, all right? Uh, Kodak Black, the man appeared on Adam 22's podcast. <laughs> You're like, why? I don't know. I don't know why, okay? It, it, look, it, it's not like he needs exposure or anything like that. Anyway, we know that Kodak is in the process of kicking the, the habit, right? He's He's been trying to pivot away from um, drug use, drug abuse. He, he has admitted that he's been addicted to stuff, but he said he don't even want to perform songs like Super Gremlin because he just wants to pivot away from all of that. Now, um, I, we don't have the exact date when he got when he got off of it. So when he did the Drink Champs podcast and everybody was looking at him funny, we don't know whether he was still in the process of trying to kick it, whether he had a, re, a relapse or whatever. All we know is now he said he's trying to quit it and we respect him for that. Okay, and we, and we love that, and we want and we promote that. Okay, Adam Twenty Two upset Kodak when Adam asked him about his drug use on his platform. Okay, um, uh, and, and we'll take a listen to this drum real quick. How did it feel after Drink Champs to have so many people basically like debating and arguing if you were f***ed up during that interview? I was lit, but I wasn't lit like bitch. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm always doing what I'm doing. I remember every. F I ain't shit a nigga do, ain't nothing like, uh, ain't no nothing get past me. That's when they think you crazy, when you make all the sense. Oh, uh, well, you can't, well, they can't run it on you. I never had an advantage of tears and shit. Still, bro. Okay, I, I gotta say what I've said on other podcasts to you, which is basically from my mind as a person who's taken a lot of shit over the years, when I saw you like standing up suddenly in the middle of the interview and just kind of swam back and forth, my brain, like the part of my brain that knows what it feels like to get up was like, oh yeah, he's on a good one right there. Mm. And then I got somebody like WAC 100 screaming in my face telling me that I'm trying to stereotype you. So can we settle this once and for all? That shit was so long ago, I ain't even, I don't even remember that. Step by step, I can even walk you back to that shit. So you had to ask me something about that shit or something. So that doesn't even like exist in your memory? You just kind of move past it as soon as you do it? but I can't walk you to that shit. Like, oh, this is what happened and this is what I don't even really too much know what you're talking about. You say detail what? Just where you were at during that interview, since so many people seem to have strong feelings about it. I was wrong, man, so you gotta be more specific. Well, yeah, I mean, usually if you get loaded, it'll last a good two hours, right? I ain't came up here for you to be playing detective. I'm not trying to play detective. I just okay, yeah. I was just figured I would bring that up since we've talked about that so many times, and I figured you might want to set the record straight. I ain't trying to exploit your. I ain't even came up with too much your wife in there. 
because I don't know it and I don't know you, family. You a fan? We got the the, nah. the mold of her <laughs> right there. Uh, you ever seen one of those before? Yeah. Y'all be kissing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You can say we, we be kissing. Yeah. We've been married for a while. I think it's like eight years. You like let me taste. It. Taste what? <laughs> oh dear God. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, all right. So could Kodak Black ever date a sir? Yeah. No. No, that's too much for you. <laughs> I, I will. I will. I'll be real friends with him. Stop it. We real friends. Oh, Kiki. Kiki Clout? Kiki. Kiki. With, with the wrong tongue. Oh, yeah, yeah, I know you're talking about, yeah. yeah. That's your homegirl? Yeah, I mean, Florida's got a lot of good talent out there. Facts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm on the scene. You want to see? I'm on the scene. Oh, you're on the scene. It's like probably the number one hotspot besides LA. So, sure. yeah. What's next for what's, what's next for GC's red dot? Oh shit, okay. You want you wanna take over and you you interview him, I'll go on the other side. Okay, I'll take over this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna let Tony take over, yeah, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I'm, I'm gonna go sit on this side. I'm taking your seat. That part of you. Uh, you ain't gotta grab that phone, then you can see them questions. We can just let him select questions off the list. I need to have mic access though. Why you got that shit on you? Yeah, but they got Cash App and Venmo in Florida too. We want to see the cash. Get in the safe. See that shit, so you know it's real. Yeah. Uh, hey, I'm pretty good. I'll let some merch, ain't it? Some merch? Yeah, yeah I got you. Yeah. yeah, we don't really got that much here. We gotta mostly do that on Melrose. Hey, I'm saying, so you gotta show niggas like you with us more than your name. You gotta like, so what's what's the special? What's the special like? No jump when you roll out the red carpet before us like the game. Being this late, my boy Adam ain't never out this late. So hopefully it played. Um, he said, yo, how did it feel after Drink Champs to have so many people basically debating and arguing if you were effed up during the interview um, so we could settle this once and for all, okay? Kodak says, um, usually, if you get loaded, it'll last a good two hours, right? Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, I, I, I think Adam said that piece, okay? Kodak said, yo, I ain't come up here for you to be playing detective. I ain't trying to exploit your bull-ish. I ain't even come up here and talk about your wife or, 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 or nothing like that. Because I don't know her and I don't know you. Okay. Um, you know, I think that if he knew he was going to ask a, a, a sensitive question like that. I mean, of course, you don't like, how can I say this? Your, your, your reaction, right? The first reaction you have when you're, when you're shocked, that's a natural reaction, right? Versus the reaction that you prepped for. Okay. When you go into the basement and I tell you, there's going to be rats down there, your reaction is going to be completely different than if you go into the basement and you were surprised by rats. Okay. So yes, he could have prepped him for that, but that's a sensitive topic. We know that Kodak has been struggling with drug use. You follow me? So why try to catch him by saying, were you high during that interview? You know what I mean? As opposed to saying, like, I know you've been struggling with such and such, and people are going to probably want to know whether you was high during that interview. You know what I mean? Before you come in, I'm going to ask you that. Like, if I was interviewing Kodak, I would have I would have given him the respect of saying, like, yo, man, like, because people, we all trying to put, we all trying to be as natural as possible, but we all trying to be as realistic as possible and want to be able to explain ourselves the best that we could. You know, you follow me? Kodak doesn't strike me as somebody that's trying to like, you know what I mean? Like trying to give you a fake image of who he is. I don't believe so. Anyway, and finally, I mean, I just don't think that's, that's his nature, man. I think, in other words, I think Kodak is a real dude. You know what I mean? And I think that with a real dude, you can prep him with a question unless you're trying to catch him. If you're trying to catch somebody, then that's different, right? And that looked like Adam, you know, it looked like Adam was trying to catch him out there. But, you know, some maybe some interviewers, they just wanted to be as, you know what I mean, as raw as possible. And some people say, yo, man, when you interview me, don't give me no questions. Just ask me on the fly. I think Charleston White does that. He's like, just ask me on the fly. We'll do what it do. Uh, all right, listen, man. Um, lastly, let me just give you this, man. YNW Melly's court date. Now, as you already know, he was accused of murdering his two friends. He was in court. Uh, there was, I think it was, um, the judges was switched out two times. It was, it was a mistrial. 
he was accused of killing his two friends and when he was in court man he was he was saying um weird things acting a little bit strange he was blowing kisses to the family members of uh, of his deceased friends quote unquote friends right um well he's gotten a new court date uh his mom's um came out and has spoken on it uh, take a listen to what she had to say where are y'all doing Hi everybody, I'm just here to give everybody like a quick update on what happened today in court. Um, hi everybody, hey guys. Free Melly till he's free, he's coming home guys. Just patience. So we did have court today, him and board, they both had court. And so basically the judge put a new trial date in for September 10th of 2025. Please make it make sense. Um, we still have, I uh, think, three or four more things up on appeal with the fourth DCA. So we're still kind of like in a stay. And so we got to get things. I just, I don't know. I don't know. At this point, they need to just dismiss the case. Also, oh, we have another new judge. So this is now the third judge on the same case that's had a mistrial and a prosecutor recused. The same prosecutor was actually in the courtroom today. Yeah, so yeah, 2025 is the new trial date. But we are not claiming that. We're going to trust God on everything like we've been doing. And we're going to see where it goes, you know. That's all we can do. So, and uh, yeah, he still doesn't have phone calls. Still no visitation. He's still um, in the new facility all alone by himself. No contact. He's not allowed to have contact with any other inmates. They move him around with several guards. It's... It's like something you never so I'm sure it's gonna be posted soon I already seen it on the local news but yes they did give a new trial date of September 10th 2025 all right so I'm jumping off I need to process everything it's already been a long day it's you're like yo his moms look kind of good over there man hey look 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 man Are you, like the, you got a one track mind don't you it, it, it's just too easy to get you in it just because somebody looks good don't that doesn't mean anything right she could be i think she's a nurse but that doesn't even make the difference okay don't get distracted damn you know what i'm saying it's like come on uh uh you know were you distracted no no people are people man some people we all just spirits wrapped in flesh and blood. Sometimes the flesh looks good, sometimes it don't. You know what I mean? It's about what's really on the inside. We don't know it like that. You know what I'm saying? She can look good on the outside, but you know what I mean? People look good on the outside. Uh, where we at over here? Right, look, 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 look. She said um, she said the new court date is September 2025. <laughs> A lot of y'all like, yo, man, like I was in middle school where he first got roped up. I'm damn near ready to get married and have kids now. <laughs> I graduated four years ago. I, hey, look, man, it's, you know, a double homicide is a big deal. Uh, September 2025th, that's a new court date. Um, I don't know why it keeps getting mistrial, but it keeps getting mistrial. Uh, and she said, pray for her son, Mr. Demons, because, you know, his name is Jamel Morris Demons. Pray for her son. Uh, pray to God for Mr. Demons, okay, um, to come home after being accused of murdering his two friends. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They just got to prove that he did it, man. They got to prove that he did They, You know, they, they saying he did it. Prove that he did it. And he just got to prove to you that he didn't do it. Okay? And then based on what the court says, we'll see what it is, man. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure not to um, be confused by how well somebody's art is. Because art doesn't mean anything. They say um, that the German dude was a really good artist. You know what I'm saying? You know, the one that used to put people in the damn furnace. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Be sure to like, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in to Celeb Source, your source for celeb news.